Hey, thanks for tuning into my channel. Today, what I wanted to go over is we're going to go over 10 reasons you should buy an Infiniti G35. This car is a legend, and there's 10 different reasons that I wanted to discuss with you on why I still think this car is an amazing buy. So let's get to it. All right, reason number one you should buy an Infiniti G35 is they're highly reliable. These engines on the forums, plenty of members have been out there and documented this car doing 300,000 miles if you properly keep the oil changed. That's the key. You got to make sure oil is in it and it's changed. This car has 160,000 miles on it. I'm the original owner of it and I've had it for 12 years. So reason number two it's a good buy is a depreciation value of this car. I paid $40,000 for this car when it was brand new when I was back in college. It took me five years to pay it off. Now I've had it for seven years, debt free. If you'd like to see, I'll show you right here exactly how much it costs because I still have the window sticker on it. Let's take a little peek. And here's the window sticker when I got it, 2005 coupe. And if you look, I'm OG, y'all new to the game. New, new, new. You can pick one of these up for about eight or nine grand. To me, that's a smoking good deal. Okay, the third reason you should buy a G35 is its ageless design. I mean, look at it. The car is fucking beautiful. So here's the thing. Not only is it, you could tell by the design that it's a great car, but if you look at the coefficient of drag on this car, it, it's honestly some of the best out there. Back in 2005, this is a 0.26 coefficient of drag. If you got a 350Z, your coefficient of drag was 0 0.30. Let me bring that up on Wikipedia right now, and we'll scroll down and look at the facts. Okay, as you see here, here's the uh, Wikipedia page for coefficient of drag. A coefficient of drag is how, how easily the car can get through the air, and it helps get better gas mileage. So we'll scroll down here to the list. So it starts over here on this side, is 0.29, and from here, so I know 350Z, G37, 370 is all 0 0.30. So let's scroll down here and see where they have the Infiniti G35. Okay, it's right here. Obviously, the Genesis Coupe copied the design off the G35 since it came out way before the, the Genesis. That's why it looks so similar. But here, it's 0.27. Okay, 0.27 without the spoiler. Add the spoiler with the aero package, which is what I got, and it's a 0.26. So 0.26 is pretty good. You look over here on this side, on the left. Let's see. Let's go down, 0.34. Acura RSX, 0.33. Uh, right here, 240SX, which was my first car, that's a 0.32. You got a 300Z, it's 0.32. Right here it is. So you got the 300Z is a uh, 0.30, the 350Z is a 0.30. 370Z is 0 0.30. So as you can tell, the, just if it's getting a better coefficient of drag, must mean it's a better design. So I think that plays a factor in the looks also. Okay. And that's that list. So back to the coefficient of drag. A lot of people don't like what they call the ironing board spoiler. Well, if you had a regular G without that spoiler, your coefficient of drag is a 0.28 or 0.29, I believe. By adding the spoiler, it brought it down to a 0.26. Not only that, let's see here. Also, I think what would help is if we can get under here. 
is I have an aluminum under tray versus a rubber one so it doesn't really flap in the wind. And you can see that puppy right there. There's my radar detector. Okay, the fourth reason, number four, the reason you should buy a G35 is the power windows. Oh, I know what you're thinking out there. Oh, you've seen reviews, the power windows suck. Well, yeah, they suck if you're a second owner and you don't know what the fuck you're doing. So, power windows. They come with a lifetime warranty if you buy them from O'Reilly's. Yeah, they're 150 bucks, but you only have to replace them. Whenever you replace them, it's completely free. So, that's what I like about the G35 is it's power windows. You don't have to replace it. Let's see here. The OEM ones, I actually did a test. I put an OEM uh, window motor on the left wind or the driver's side door, and then I put one with a lifetime warranty from O'Reilly's in the passenger side door when they went out. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to see, does the OEM part actually last longer than the O'Reilly's part, which comes with a lifetime warranty. Nissan or Infiniti doesn't give a lifetime warranty at all on their window motor. So if it goes out, if it goes out in two years, you gotta buy a brand new one on you. With O'Reilly's, if it goes out, you come in and they give you a new one for free as long as you own the car. So my OEM one uh, went out in about four years and this O'Reilly's one's been lasting about seven years. So I already went ahead and replaced the driver's side door with an O'Reilly's window motor because it'll be free when it goes out again. So I don't really give a shit. It's pretty easy to repair. And I mean, there's videos out there online on YouTube how to do it, which makes it pretty simple. So a little trick just to show you how I appreciate the windows is if you hold this unlock button down, both your windows will roll down. And voila. And as you can see, there's the inside of the G. I really can't complain about that interior, not one bit. All right, and then if you wanted to roll that window back up, all you can do, unfortunately you can't hit the lock button in the bezel, you have to hit this and actually lock the car. When you turn it to the right, then both your windows will roll up. Okay, maybe I should have tested this before now, that's it to the left then. And it's to the left. Okay. Reason number five you should buy an Infiniti G35. Actually, this is my number one reason, is the sound. So the sound is pretty good from the factory, but the sound gets drastically different when you put exhaust on it. And unfortunately, you get what you pay for. So I had an NVIDIA Gemini exhaust with resonated test pipes. I thought it sounded pretty good. Um, it did sound pretty good. Uh, I'm not saying those exhaust systems don't sound good, what I'm trying to say is this car is the only car I know of where you can make the exhaust go exotic. And how you do that is with a company like this, Motordyne. So I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I've heard of Motordyne. I've heard of their exhaust. And it is very expensive. It's two grand. So that doesn't include the art pipes. That's just a shock way. The art pipes are another 600. Look at it this way. Nissan GTR, Army Tricks, very popular exhaust. You know how much it costs? Seven grand. And this exhaust sounds identical to the Army Tricks exhaust. It really does. Like Army Tricks and Motordyne, very, very, very similar. So let's look at some clips of some sounds and why Motordyne is king.
All right. Reason number six you should buy an Infiniti G35. It has launch control. Cue the video for the launch control now. All right, I got my car tuned and I'm able to uh, do a launch control where it holds the RPMs at 4,000. And then uh, as soon as I release the uh, cruise control button and the clutch at the same time as it will launch me. So how we engage it is we hold down on this, press cancel twice, brings me to the launch control map. Hold down once to get in power mode. Now all I have to do is basically rev it to 4,000 RPMs. I go with button and clutch. Reason number five there, one, two, that makes it seven, is the interior. Look at the interior of this car. I mean, this car is 12 years old. The interior is held up unbelievably well. A radar detector down in the ashtray, and the unit is hidden up in the front bumper. It's very stealth. It's actually, I think it's very awesome. Like, look at the stitching on the steering wheel. Look at that. Look how good that orange stitching still looks. I mean, look at this orange stitching. I see if you got the six speeds, they came with the orange stitching. That was part of the uh, sports package. This looks fabulous. This orange stitching after all these years, look at that. That's why I don't want to upgrade the wheel to a carbon fiber wheel. I still like more orange stitching. I think it looks good. All right, number eight on the list is the suspension. As I try to get a picture of it here, as you can see, I've upgraded the suspension. So on a 350Z, they come with stiffer springs than a G35. The shocks are the exact same from Monroe, or not Monroe. Uh, ah, I can't remember the name of it, but there's a name that everybody uses that comes from the OEM, McPherson struts. That's what it is. So G35s, 350Zs have McPherson struts. The only difference between a 350Z and a G35 is the spring rates. The spring rates on a 350Z are stiffer. So I got the sports package on my G35 and it came with stiffer spring rates to compensate for that. Let's put it this way. KW V3s cost three grand. This suspension makes this car ride completely better than stock. Way better than stock. Like it's unbelievable how much better it is. And these come with a lifetime warranty. Anything ever goes wrong with them, they send you, well, you have to send in a new pair and they rebuild them for free. So. I'm just showing you, try to get a glimpse. These are the rear ones. And the reason the rear doesn't have an actual coil over spring is they went with the regular OEM springs is for comfort. So don't get me wrong, these shock, these uh, coil overs, uh, you can adjust compression and rebound on them to make them comfortable, or you can make them very stiff for if you're taking them to the track. Uh, this was like one of the last mods I did on the car. I've been very, very, very happy with it. And I have a video on my channel if you wanna see that install. Okay, number nine on the list is auto shutting doors. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the doors on the G35 are extremely long. So if you just open the door like this, you try to hold it open, and there it goes, the auto shut. Yeah, look at that, 2005, auto shutting doors, ahead of its time. Number nine reason why I love the G35, or why you should buy it. Reason number 10 you should buy an Infiniti G35 
is back when I bought this car in 2005, this was the highest producing V6 on the market. So the only car that had a faster six cylinder engine was a BMW M3, which it had an actual inline six and it made 333 horsepower. So being able to buy one of the most highest producing horsepower naturally aspirated cars of the time, it was a no brainer. You know, Nissan and Infiniti were best bang for the buck. That's why they really gave BMW a run for its money. I know, today in 2017, 300 horsepower isn't that much. That's what this car came with back in 2005. But if you've seen my other video, I show you how to get 350 horsepower out of a naturally aspirated V6, which that, again, I think adds value. 350 horsepower in 2017 isn't something to cough at. I mean, I don't get beat. All right, thanks for checking out my video and looking at the top 10 reasons why you should buy an Infiniti G35. And if you don't know yet, I guess I'll add number 11 to the list, is the community. A lot of people that own this car have a lot of passion for it, and they're not willing to actually let the car go. So a lot of original owners are still out there, or people that have kept a hold of this car for a long time, and they've added a lot of knowledge to the forms. And on, you know, things that go wrong with the car, it's all documented out there, and there's a lot of support in the community. So if you do buy one of these, that's another thing that's really of value, is being able to find how to fix it. And there's lots of people that documented it, YouTube videos. So I hope this helps you in making that decision with the right choice, which is this car, if you can get your hands on one. Um, I know there's still eight to 10K uh, for one that's not molested and uh, beat the shit out of. Uh, a lot of them are starting to get to that point. They're starting to become Honda Civic territory and the owners are treating them as such. So anyways, let's talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. You don't think so. Thank you.